quote a James Bond villain, The key to a good story is not who, or what, or when, but why. This movie exists. I want to know why. The Human Centipede, the first sequence, released in 2009 and is directed by Tom Siex, who's directed other films such as The Human Centipede 2, full sequence, and The Human Centipede 3, final sequence. Yep, and this film is starring Dieter Laser, I believe is how you pronounce it, and three other actors who I would recommend finding a brand new agent, because the one that got me this gig don't deserve to be on my payroll. I, I want to know what that phone call looked like. Like, hey, hey, I finally got this amazing role for you. Oh, that's great, that's wonderful. What is it? Well, you're going to be on all fours with your mouth to someone's asshole and someone else's mouth to your asshole. I'm in. Lindsay and Jenny are two Americans who are backpacking through all of Europe. How many times do I need to say it? Don't go overseas. And how many horror films have started off that way? No one is listening to me. Stop going overseas. Stay home where you know everything and know everyone and know all the cultures and know all of the, the mythology behind everything. Don't go overseas, because you'll never come back! But of course these two just want to really go to a German party, but unfortunately get a flat tire along the way. And as they start hitchhiking, trying to find some help, they come across this very nice secluded home in the woods, uh, where the two girls meet a, a very estranged doctor by the name of Dr. Joseph Heiter? Heiter? I don't, I don't know, nor care. And after roofing these two girls, locks them up into a makeshift surgery room that he has in his basement, where he goes over the plans to finally conjoin three people anus to mouth to make a human centipede. And why? I don't know. <laughs> I remember hearing about this movie when it came out, and just the whole concept then was me saying, why, that's just the stupidest thing ever. And of course you would see images because everyone was talking about it because it was so absurd and so crazy and so off the wall that you kind of just had to watch it. It's a really bad car crash or a plane crash or any type of crash that, you know, it's, just, it's so terrible, but I can't look away. And then I know that this film sparked two different sequels. And, and the concept with those is like, well, let's let's put more mouths to to, to butts. I don't know. There are certain websites where you can just watch that if you have that fetish. But supposedly, kind of looking up notes on this movie, supposedly this concept came from the director, who's also the writer of this thing. Just an idea that he had off the cuff, thinking about, you know, the, the, the punishment for pedophiles and for rapists. They should have their mouths sewn to a trucker's ass. Which, I'm not disagreeing with him. Pedophiles and rapists are terrible people and deserve to be punished. Accordingly so. I don't know what the truck driver did to deserve someone to have, you know, their ass to their mouths, but yeah, sure, the rapist, definitely. But apparently after he said that, he had one of these moments. And their mouth should be surgically attached to this trucker's asshole. That's what I think is Oh. And... This was created. I guess it's a popular film, at least amongst the, the horror community. I mean, like I said, everyone, I know everyone talked about this movie, or at least it was in the pop culture zeitgeist around that time when it was coming out. So the film really survives on the reputation and the concept alone. But of course, when I got into the movie, I found that really the, the vileness and the grotesqueness of the film it's not as bad as the concept makes it seem, mainly because there's not a lot of the human centipede part. I was thinking that, oh, we're gonna be getting a lot of just bile surgery images, and there are some, don't get me wrong, but 
I, I was actually expecting there to be a lot more, and there wasn't. So it was really just kind of a stereotypical you know, a body horror film with a concept that's so outrageous that you're just constantly fearing and thinking about until you finally get there. And then you finally get there and you're like, well, it's, it is gross, but it could be worse. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how it could be worse. I just, again, I'm thinking of these actors oh, and what possessed them to say yes. Yes, I'm doing this. It just goes to show you that actors will take any role. They probably took on these roles because they're like, oh god, I don't have to memorize lines? <laughs> the only line is, hey, I'm an actor, and whenever I was casting a show, if I didn't have a lot of lines in that scene, I was loving that scene. I once played Putnam in the play The Crucible, and in that courtroom scene, I had one line the entire time. One of my favorite roles I've ever played. But I'm, I'm thinking that, yeah, that's probably what it was. Oh, I have to be half naked and have my mouth on someone's ass? As long as I don't have to memorize dialogue. Ha! <sighs> I don't know, I'm... I'm shooting in the dark here. <laughs> so other than this concept and the aesthetic of the actual human centipede, this film is, is nothing special. It has a dialogue that is... You can pluck it from just a couple of horror films out there. Just it right there. You just put it into this movie. Nothing different. Filled with a bunch of very stupid characters. Again, so stupid to the point where you're just like, I, you, you know what? You, you deserve it. If you're acting this dumb, you deserve this. Oh, thanks for pouring this glass of water that I didn't watch you actually pour. Mm. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> so I don't know if I can say, like, I, I wanted more from this movie. I, but I kind of did. I at least wanted more from the doctor, who apparently we find out was a, a world-famous surgeon of separating conjoined twins. But now he wants to build, like, the ultimate being of three people conjoined together at the IS? I don't understand. We get small tiny pieces of his background, or at least his mindset. He hates humans, which sucks for you, dude, because you are one. But he did this to his dogs before, and I guess it was like his favorite pet he's ever owned, and he was sad when it died. I don't, I just, I don't know. That is just what I'm trying to wrap my brain around, is okay, you know, what is the purpose of wanting to do this? Maybe of just doing it? then just say that. I'm doing it because I can, and because I, I was told I could never do it. But why do you want to do it? What is, are you trying to make humans better? Because I'm, I'm failing to see how doing this to them makes that being better. You're making a centipede. A centipede only has one brain on the front part. And then the rest, it's all just its body. You're taking three different people with three different brains and trying to make them one. That's not... It's not gonna work. I, I just don't... I don't... I don't know. Why do... Why do movies exist? The prosthetics in here are... You know, they're... They're pretty good. We get some nice... Pussiness... From the from the, the, the final sequent of the human centipad, which was really gross. You can see all of the, the, the scar tissue and they remove the teeth so that the, the, the feeding can happen easier. I, I, I don't... I'm running out of things to say. I really have no idea what else to comment on this other than it's just, it's body horror that I'm not the biggest fan of, but then it's also just a concept that's really just, it's a concept, and it builds itself up as this very controversial and, and big concept, but then when it actually happens, you're just like, okay, it's there, now what? There's no rhyme or reason, it's just, hey, let's do this. <laughs> Here's the movie. Did I have a good time? No. Will other people have a good time? I don't think so. 
did these actors have a good time? I would assume probably not. Again, I'm like, what, what, what were you signing up for? This is... It's just body horror at its finest that's only relying on a concept that has no meat to it at all. I don't know if it goes into depth on character development or the, the concept behind this in the sequels, and I don't care to find out. I won't watch them. I don't. I have no interest to. I don't care if you recommend it. I just no. This is this is just stupid. This is dumb. And <sighs> well, I, I can finally say I watched it. How about that? I've watched it, and now I can move on with the rest of my life. I'm gonna give the Human Centipede first sequence half a Blu-ray. No. No. So I think after this, I'm going to call it quits for a little bit. With taking recommendations, I've gotten away from doing the, the randomness of my show, so I want to get back to that, and uh, congratulations, Scott. You, you ruined it for everyone with recommending this movie, so good job, Scott. I was actually going to take a little break for recommendations anyway, so over the whole next month or a month and a half or so, we are going to be doing just randomly selecting off of my shelf of the movies that I own, so without further ado, let's do it. Let's take a look. Which movie I'm going to be watching next? Kick Ass! Of course, it has to be a movie about an ass while talking about this one. But Kick-Ass, kind of a, a, a makeshift superhero film with Mark Strong and Nicolas Cage. Hell yeah, I haven't watched this in a while, actually. And I remember it coming out and people being like, what, what, is this a parody? Is this real? Huh? But I do believe it was directed by Matthew Vaughn, who also came up with the Kingsman films, and I believe he also did X-Men First Class, which are movies that I love. So, and I, and I love this movie. I just haven't watched it in a while, so we'll give it a watch here and see if it holds up for me. Thank you very much, Scott, for the recommendation and ruining it for everyone. But if any of you do have recommendations of films that you want me to review on here, you can keep sending them in. You can comment here on this video or go to my Facebook page or my Twitter or my Instagram and leave a recommendation there. And if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and give you a shout on the channel. If you do want me to really do your recommendation, you can make a PayPal donation on the main page of my YouTube channel. Any size donation will do. You can attach your movie to the donation. And if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and expedite yours to the front of the line and get it done as soon as possible. So guys, have you seen The Human Centipede? What did you think about it? Am I overly critical of this movie? Should I just turn my brain off while watching it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you know the next time I release my next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time with my review of Kick Ass. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.